Under fire director Joss Whedon attempted to threaten Gal Gadot's career when she challenged him over Wonder Woman's dialogue in reshoots for Justice League. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. The actress previously confirmed reports suggesting the two clashed on the set of the 2017 DC Comics blockbuster, which Wheaton took over after original filmmaker Zack Snyder had to step down following a family tragedy, but at the time only stated that issues were handled in a timely manner by Warner Brothers studio bosses. Now Godot has offered up a little more insight into how nasty their interaction became. In an interview with Israeli news outlet N12 on Saturday, she said, he kind of threatened my career and said if I did something, he would make my career miserable, and I just took care of it instead. During the exchange, he also allegedly disparaged Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins. Godot wasn't the only Justice League cast member who fell out with Whedon, Ray Fisher, who played Cyborg has repeatedly made it clear he didn't appreciate the director's gross, abusive, unprofessional, and completely unacceptable behavior on the Justice League set. Whedon has also been accused of creating a toxic atmosphere on the sets of his prior TV shows, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and its spin-off, Angel. He has yet to respond to Godot's latest remarks. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were greeted with open arms during their three-day tour of Nigeria over the weekend. Although they were not representing the British royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were seen standing up as God Save the King was sung at a Nigerian charity event on Saturday. Watch the clip below to see their reaction. God Save the King is the national and royal anthem for the British territories, Commonwealth realms, and the British Crown dependencies. The author of the lyrics remains unknown although it is often attributed